administration announced COVID booster shots could be available for the wider population in a month or so. Some providers in the state started making plans to provide it, but there are still many wondering, do we need it? Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera is live tonight at the answer desk, getting answers to some of your questions. Dennis. Aaron, an infectious disease doctor at Stay Well Health in Waterbury says the rise of the Delta variant should be enough to get a third shot, but not everyone who's already been vaccinated should rush to get it. It's important to note the CDC and the FDA have yet to sign off on offering boosters for the general population, only for the immunocompromised. December 14, 2020, that's when Connecticut first started getting vaccines into its healthcare workers and the elderly. Dr. Ellie Halu with Statewell Health Center says anyone who got vaccinated around that time should be the ones getting the booster. Especially with, you know, the healthcare workers and the most vulnerable populations that got their vaccine around December, January when it first came out. It's already been around eight months, so I think giving the booster is urgent. There's still scientific debate over the need of the booster. But Dr. Halu says the Delta variant and breakthrough COVID cases are evidence enough we need to continue to build our immune response. He stresses the booster is just another dose of a vaccine already in your system. It's the same vaccine. We're just adding another dose um, just to boost the antibody levels. It's kind of the same idea behind the flu shot where people get, you know, booster shots every year. While he supports getting a booster, Dr. Halu says we still need to focus on getting all eligible people vaccinated, saying there has been a recent increase in vaccination but it's still not enough. We um, have more people at Waterbury Hospital, at UConn, at Yale, all over the state. And now, you know, we're seeing younger people get sick. Um, and most of these, over 90% of the people that are in the hospital and are in the ICU are unvaccinated. Staywell Health is planning to expand their vaccine clinic hours to accommodate booster shots. There still is no recommendation if a booster is needed for those who got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. At the Answer Desk, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Yeah, a lot of people wondering about that J&J &J shot, Dennis. Thank you very much.